Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal Eclipse. My name is Jessica. In this video, we'll be asking the cards about your future spouse, your life partner, and their overall energy or vibes. Whatever we can get about their personality and sort of like who they are from the cards. I have four cards for you to choose from today, so it really is a pick a card. We have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, and lastly, the Two of Cups. So choose whichever card stands out to you. Uh, you can check the description box or the comment section for timestamps if you'd like to skip directly to the card. Um, if multiple cards stand out to you, feel free to watch whatever piles you feel are like really standing out here. And um, take whatever you feel resonates with you. Take whatever message you feel is actually meant for you within that reading. And sort of like leave the rest for whoever else comes along. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Starting with our first stack, we have the Ten of Cups, we're going to put over here in case we need some guidance. So, for your future spouse, your life partner, we have the Five of Wands coming out first for their energy. We see Strength. We see Two of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. What else? We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Hermit. So, when it comes to this, immediately when I saw that Five of of wands I was like oh this is somebody who's gone through some stuff this is somebody who's had to really sort some things out try to figure out what it is that they they need to do in order to get to the sort of like the right path at the same time we have the five of pentacles and that's somebody who's sort of feeling stuck like there is no way out there is no right path but I love that that hermit came out in the the end you know here within the six cards because they're in a very similar position but in the top card with that five of pentacles it feels like somebody who's very stuck and isolated and they have no hope they have no say over it they they can't get out of that um, situation themselves but in the hermit situation they're voluntarily in isolation they did it for their own benefit because they knew that um, it would help them it would allow them to move forward and I love too that if you look closely at the Five of Pentacles, you see that there's a key. And, you know, it sort of says there's a key there all along. It's always been there. It might have been, um, you know, hard to to see prior to that. It might have been something that they, they weren't aware of. But now when they meet you or as they progress um, through their journey, you know, if you've already met them, then I, I feel like they've already sorted through this. They were, they've seen that they had the key all along. They have control over their life. They have control over their future. Rather than going back and forth and deciding, do they want to be single, you know, and feel alone, but be out of a toxic relationship? Or do they want to be with somebody, but be in a toxic relationship? And we sort of see that with the Two of Pentacles, that they've decided they can have everything they want. They can have it as long as they're willing to do the work and find the person that is compatible with them. And we see that change with the Wheel of Fortune into something that is positive and fixed. So fixed energy, meaning it's an energy that's showing up as um, something that won't change or is unwavering in a way. It's a, it's a good energy to appear here because we're seeing it as a swap. We're seeing it as this this movement from what might have been unpredictable into something that is much more stable also we're seeing that it's representing where you're headed within this relationship so um who this person will be to you somebody who is reliable somebody who is consistent somebody who won't um worry when things get rocky and that might also be a message specifically for you if you've been in relationships in the past where um the people quit because they feel like it's gotten too hard or they don't really try like they don't um work on bettering themselves or becoming the you know the person that you need them to be and both like you know both sides it works both ways but um if you've had somebody who's just you know ended a relationship with you because they got tired of working on it we see that this person isn't going to do that if you see somebody who won't listen to you like in past relationships this person is willing to listen this person is willing to give you all the time you need this person is willing to do everything that like those past relationships weren't willing to do and past relationships including like friendships and family those people that maybe um weren't there for you this is a person that is different and we see that big change into somebody who is reliable in energy and you know um just who they are to you they portray themselves as exactly who they are because they've been through so much they've worked hard and they're very proud of who they've become 
Now, mainly here, with this overall, like, energy, the overall vibe that I'm getting here in these cards for your future spouse or life partner, I feel like if you haven't met this person yet, it's because they're currently going through that top row where they're turning into the bottom, meaning they're currently going through that, that sort of, like, thinking about everything, reevaluating, trying to make things better, they're making decisions, they're realizing that the key was already there, and then they're moving into this place where they have the strength to com continue forward no matter how difficult the situation is. They know that things are going to work out, that they're, the Wheel of Fortune is working in their favor, and that this isolation is voluntary, all working like together, you know, in tandem to get to this Ten of Cups stage where there's happiness, there's joy, there's everything that you had hoped for, both of you had hoped for, you know, the Ten of Cups is your dreams as well as their dreams together. So we see that coming through. If you have met this person, I would say um, this person might be still sort of in that stage and um, you might feel that, you might feel like if this person gets a little... Um, sort of quiet or you don't feel a lot of movement from this person they still might be coming out of this sort of negative headspace here where there might have been some toxicity or some negativity within you know previous relationships or just their own self-esteem but they are in the process of moving into this stage where they can get um, to this ten of cups with you I think overall energy because of the way these are are sort of um, playing out you know it's showing somebody who's really working very hard because this time the mindset that they're in the place that they're in they undoubtedly want that forever they want that ten of cups they want a permanent energy here because they I, I feel like one they don't want to be alone they don't want to keep having to to go out and try to find the right person they really just want this person to come in and be there and be reliable and be the person that just like is finally you know a good energy for them a good consistent energy for them somebody who's compatible but um also i think there's this just wanting the family life or wanting somebody to be supportive wanting to have you know this this dream that they've held on to for many years but maybe they they let go of maybe they decided it was never going to come to them but we finally see that here but um, it's a very good place for them to be in either way. I think there's good movement, there's good energy from, from them, and a good outlook because that's what they want and they know what they're going after and it's very clear to them. So that's what I'm seeing with this first stack here in the Ten of Cups. I thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day, week, and year. Bye-bye. Starting with our second stack here, we have this Four of Wands. I'm going to put it over here so in case we need it for any like guidance, we have it there. Okay, our first card here is Death. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. So this is actually like really good energy for this person, for this future spouse, for this life partner. The energy, energy we're seeing here is an ending stage, very similar to the first stack, but what we're seeing is a firmness with this ending. So I would feel like more rather than medium when they're almost near the end, I would say you're meeting this person when they've completed whatever it is that they were going through, whatever their previous stage was in their life. You're seeing that completed by the time you two um, meet. So they are moving forward. It might feel like they're not. It might feel like there's still some hesitance or um, some sort of questioning about how to move forward that's coming off of them. Purely based on the four of pentacles coming out here as somebody who is a little, still a little worried about how to embrace life. So they might just be coming out of this sort of hermit mode. But I do feel like it's it's completion for them so that they could be on this better level, one that's closer to the level that you're at or one that's closer to the level that you both need to be at for this relationship to be successful. So I do feel like that death card is coming out as rebirth, so a, a bright new beginning. I love the energy of the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles coming out together because they're giving me like very solid energy this person is just very predictable in a good way like i think they can be spontaneous when it comes to fun things but when it comes to the relationship and the important things this person is very reliable very predictable this person um you know is always upfront honest with you they they are somebody you never have to worry about never have to question and i feel like the the overall um person they portray themselves 
to be is really who they are. So you don't have to worry about them trying to um, make themselves out into something that they're not. Or, you know, if they come across as like too good to be true, it really is them. They seem like that's truly their energy. They have a great like peacefulness to them. Uh, it, it does seem though here like this person is either heavily working on themselves or heavily working on their career when you come across them so if that sounds out to you when you meet this person or if you already know this person that's sort of the energy i'm getting since we're seeing so many pentacles it's signifying that this person is really working on getting their their financial position to a nice stable place where they can move forward and embrace another person i think the best thing here is within all, really all these cards we see a sort of single um, person and they're just waiting on the right person to come through so they could have that four of wands that success that you know that um, companionship which they're lacking currently and that might also be you where you're lacking that companionship you're wondering when this like right person is going to be there sort of like you're waiting for that king of pentacles and they haven't arrived yet they haven't shown themselves to you at the moment but I do feel like whether or not you've met them I feel like there's movement um, with the Eight of Wands, Twelve of the Two of Wands coming out, I feel like this is more of a faster energy that's coming through here. The faster energy meaning um, if you haven't met them yet, I do feel like they're coming in soon. Or at least their arrival has started, meaning that they're setting out on their journey to you. If you have met them, you might feel like there's more choices being made that benefit you. Or more choices that show you that this is a good, solid relationship that's moving forward. You actually feel energy um, in this relationship. So good um vibes sort of like coming out of those wands card with the two of wands though she's looking toward the four of wands and that's leading towards somebody who really wants like forever this is somebody who wants a, a union uh divine counterpart somebody who is forever somebody who's permanent somebody who is meant to be with them it's it's this forever energy that's here and i feel like they've longed for it for a while they might have had these moments where people came close or people really seem like that was like the right one or it was the right person and that was who they were meant to be with but then something always canceled out or something caused an issue i would say that's more of like a higher level um interference to prevent them from being with the wrong person but i do feel like here in this scenario this is representing the energy that they have toward a relationship they really are looking for what's represented within the four of wands and the four of wands doesn't always just signify marriage um, it signifies two people coming together in harmony. So that's why I say like life, partner, marriage, future spouse. It's two people who see each other as the one that is going to provide them the most long term. So that comes from like a place of love. Somebody who's going to provide them the most beneficial and consistent but also like loving love. Somebody who's going to provide them friendship. Somebody who's going to provide them a good dose of reality when they need it. And somebody who's going to provide them with a comfortable um, place to land when anything happens. So we see that this, this person has these goals in mind and I feel like they really have not met this person yet. And it could be with death that they're ending a stage that didn't benefit them in order to sort of venture into this new stage and it it takes a lot to sort of say i need to to call it quits on this you know or the past the relationship and move forward into something that doesn't actually exist at the moment you know so i feel like that's sort of their energy at the moment they're moving forward sort of blindly but they have like all the hope in the world to move forward with success so it's a very good energy. I think this person has a really um, good, like, level, not level, like, balanced mindset where it's, they know where to put the energy. And if that means that they have to stay single for a while in order to put that energy into career and finances, building up, you know, that material world so that they can be better off when it comes to relationship and dedicate more time to that. I feel like they're willing to sacrifice that, but also they know what's coming. So if they do sacrifice um, you know, a relationship for a while, they know that something good is coming um, after that. It's a very good energy from them. A lot of fire, but also it's balanced out by that earth energy. So you see somebody who is not necessarily the slowest mover, but not necessarily the fastest. It's not somebody who, who fizzles out fast. It's somebody who's reliable and constant. But that's what I'm seeing here with this second stack and the four of wands. And I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye. Starting with our third stack, we have the Chariot. I'm going to put it over here so that we can use it as our guide card if we need it. 
So when it comes to your future spouse, your life partner, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like this person, if you haven't met them yet, I feel like they're leaving somebody or leaving a relationship, leaving a situation, leaving a situationship. Um, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. We have Temperance and we have the Queen of Wands. So we see a lot of different energy that's going on here. A lot of back and forth, but also a lot of like trying to figure things out. So when it comes to the energy of this person, where we start and where we end, meaning at the Eight of Cups to the Chariot, like we see a really big energy change. We see somebody who's trying to sort things out, trying to figure out what it is they want. They're leaving behind something that actually benefited them or something that they love, something that they put a lot of energy into, but they knew was no longer going to suit them in the next stage of their life. So they had to leave that behind. They had to say, you know, as much as I love it or as much as I care for it I, it, I can't move forward because it's holding me back. So they had to let go of that. And with that, we see it followed by the Ten of Wands. And Ten of Wands is giving me energy of like trying to distract, knowing that they weren't in the right place for a relationship or they weren't in the right place at all in life. Like they knew they weren't necessarily um, successful where they were or they weren't happy with where they were. So they had to fully uh, just, you know, Put all their energy into becoming this better version of them and we do see that once again like that balance coming through we see temperance and i like this illustration of temperance because we have the moon and the sun and sort of like that that energy between water and fire that's sort of balancing out in that um that card we see an enlightenment as well so uh some clarity that's come through for this person some newness that's um there for them that was not present in the past so i think like the they're constantly improving themselves they're constantly looking at things figuring out what it is that they need to change what it is they need to work on what it is, is that maybe they they put a lot of effort into and it was like the wrong place to put effort into and now they're realizing that they need to to put um effort into something else you know but here i think we're seeing a great balance we're seeing a good energy here with with this like this constant movement forward and even with the chariot sometimes that chariot comes out as like a pause or a halt but i see that as as um really moving forward like constant energy constant movement toward newness and we also see the nine of pentacles king of pentacles moving into stability moving into predictability and movement into a place where things are where they meant to be like the king of pentacles is one of my sort of like biased kings when i see him come out he has this energy regardless of you know your future spouse being male or female or whatever they identify as when the king of pentacles comes out i see this as like perfect um spouse when it comes to permanence when it comes to forever the like life partner you know that that forever relationship that's represented there because this person is very slow to get angry they might take a while to react but when they do react they're very level-headed they don't um overreact they don't um say anything that they they'll regret there's somebody who who is very reliable very predictable and somebody who works very hard to understand other people they don't want to quit they don't want to give up on a relationship they know things get tough and they see it in a realistic way they're like you know not everything is going to be perfect all the time and just because there's like you know a bump in the road it doesn't mean that they're going to turn back they continue to move forward we have that too with the nine of pentacles is somebody who is reaching that ultimate stage the stage that is best for them and best for others around them like they finally have everything falling into place and that alone is like one step off from that ten of pentacles and i love that we see that one pentacle that we're like sort of missing within the nine of pentacles over there with the king of pentacles so it is showing a great movement for this person a good mindset that this person has because they know what it is they want they know how to re realistically obtain it you know and they they know that life isn't going to just be like super easy and a breeze they know what it takes to have longevity and we see that continued energy represented there with the queen of wands so all of this comes together in that chariot what they're chasing after what they're pursuing and what they're hoping for in the future so it's all this hard work all this movement forward continued um hard work continued you know energy toward improvement so that they can really be the person that they want to be they they really want this permanent long-term relationship 
And I think when it comes to a lot of things, if they were one in the past to maybe walk away from something or if they lost motivation easily or they had a lot of setbacks in life, I feel like they they sort of let it get to them. But then they got to a place where they realized they weren't really moving forward. And that's where that cherry has that sort of appearance of like, are you stuck or are you actually moving forward? And that's their mindset. Like they finally realized that in that position, they weren't doing anything. It wasn't beneficial to remain in that mindset. And that's why they had to sort of walk away from this situation. Now, this doesn't have to be a relationship, a past relationship. This can just be a mindset that they realize that, you know, either isolating themselves out or giving up was a negative mindset. It was a comfortable mindset for them. They didn't want to give that mindset up. Um, but they knew in order to allow others in, in order to improve and move forward in the future, you know, in order to have another relationship, they knew that they'd have to let that go and just, you know, start letting new people in. And that could also be for you, that you're in that same position where, you know, you've been questioning relationships or questioning people and you don't know if they're the right person for you or you don't even want to try. Like, you might be scared to, to go out and start a new relationship because of the relationships that you've had in the past. But this time, you're realizing, you know, in order to, to actually have that relationship, that spouse, you have to go out there and, and, you know, try something new. So that's really what I'm seeing here. I see like this person who is actually working on balance, working on themselves, working on embracing a new mindset and leaving the old, you know, so that, that life can be much more you know, beautiful for them. But that's what I'm seeing here with this third stack and the chariot. I thank you for watching this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day, week, and year. Bye-bye. Starting with our fourth stack, we have that two of cups coming out. We're going to put it over here um, in case we need it for guidance. We have the hermit. We have the knight of cups. So we're seeing an energy change here with this future spouse or life partner. We have the hermit again. Oh, and we have the Six of Cups. So we see a big energy change here. We have the Star. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles on another stack, and I already forgot which one it was. But um, King of Pentacles, like I said in that other stack, regardless of um, your future spouse, your life partner's gender, when the King of Pentacles comes out, we see, well, I see it as that, like, perfect counterpart for long term. That good energy, that person's good, that's constant. They don't quit when things get a little rough or a little rocky. They stay by your side. They are willing to work on things, willing to communicate, willing to see things through to make sure that, um, you know, there's a, uh, good relationship like and that they don't ever regret like not trying hard enough so it is a good energy to come out here i really love that king of pentacles does i have the hermit coming out twice and with the hermit coming out twice i feel like this is both you and this, this um life partner this future spouse it's showing me energy from both sides since we have double the energy this could be double for them though too but i feel like if you've both been single for a while or you've both been in relationships where you didn't really find the person that you were in a relationship with to actually you know have a connection with you like you didn't really feel a strong connection you didn't really feel energy going back and forth you didn't feel like like you two were really together or you just felt like there was an like an ever-growing disconnect between the two of you that's the sort of energy that's coming out here I feel like with the Knight of Cups, though, as well as the Six of Cups, this person is changing. This person is m sort of like moving forward in a way that is beneficial to not only their own like mindset, but also to yours. So the person that's coming through for you in this reading is somebody who just wants to embrace life. Somebody who wants to embrace love and somebody who is willing to step out of their comfort zone in order to finally have what it is that they've dreamed of for a while so knight of cups is that card that always stands out to me as a representation of hermes and here i'm seeing it as the representation of this person who is more sent to help you on a soul level soul level connection to move forward to get you to this better place a place that where you've wanted to be at and in turn, like, you also help them on a soul level. Like, this is a, 
deep, deep, deep connection. And we also see that with the Six of Cups. And sometimes the Six of Cups comes out as past life connections or continued life. Like this person is meant to be with you um, to help you grow, to improve you, to be with you at the best times in your life. This is a person that is there for, you know, uh, forever, basically. This card I always see with Six of Cups as... Um, young to old so that would be like that life partner energy within that card so two really great cards that are very soul connection um, cards very much like all about being with the person you really feel like you were meant to be with there's no doubt about who this person is and how connected you two are it's a very strong very lovely energy that's present here and I think this person has been waiting quite a while for this energy to come along. Whether or not you met them yet, I feel like this is their mindset. We also see the star. We see the king of pentacles. And this is like wish fulfillment and it actually materializing. So the two cards coming out together show what you've dreamt of, what this person has dreamt of, and it coming through to you in reality. We do see that represented within the two of cups. So my three favorite cups cards have come out here. We have two of cups, six of cups, as well as the knight of cups. And they all represent what is currently in movement to its final position where it's present within the two of cups. The two people coming together in harmony, in union. Soulmate energy, soulmate energy, soulmate energy with all of these. And everything you'd hoped for, wished for, finally of being there right in front of you so we do see that this person is coming through as that permanent energy that that energy that you've been really dreaming of and this person's energy also very good because um what they hoped for since we're seeing equal terms with within all these cards coming from the same position moving forward into the same position this person's wish fulfillment what they hope for in the future aligns with what you want so this person is able to stay with you long term you know for the rest of your life because of what they're hoping for they want all the same things that you want you know if you want a beautiful house with like 20 kids it's the same thing they want if you want a few kids and like a nice apartment near the city it's what they want it's that longevity that um you know that companionship that they're hoping for they want somebody that they can be with you know not have to worry about not have to go out and continuously date people and think about like um is this the right person is this the right relationship or seen as somebody who is wishing for you to come through and that is the energy that we're getting is that it is your arrival as well as like you wishing for them to come through and this is in indicating their arrival so they have a very good energy about things i think they're they're very realistic because like with the previous stack with the king of pentacles we see somebody who is realistic they're not somebody who is like off in dreamland they're not somebody who um thinks like things that are are too difficult should be you know given up on there's somebody who actually sees the the permanence in things and knows that it takes a lot of effort a lot of energy to to work on that to keep it permanent but it's entirely worth it to them because they know what's coming through in the end so i do feel like this person is well aware of you know dreams and hopes and all those things but in a way that is obtainable so something that they don't um they they don't feel like won't ever happen they're definitely fully aware of what what is coming in their future and how to maintain it so that's what i'm seeing here with this final stack i think a very good energy i really do love all the cups cards that came out here because it's, it's such a nice vibe that's going on here but I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I do hope that you and all your loved ones are doing well and staying safe and healthy. And as always, as I always say, please have a wonderful day, week, and year. Bye-bye.